Hello, we want to make a material and we first want to um, create it procedurally and then later we want to bake two textures so that we can use the created two textures for example in the game engine. But first let's start in Blender and we don't use the default cube, we use a beveled box. It's a very simple one, but uh, it has rounded corners. So in order to make a material we go to the shading tab and uh, let's uh, first we have to make sure that uh, we use uh, cycles because only in cycles we can bake a material. Let's start with the procedural material. First we, first we uh, make a new node, a bevel node. And uh, let's connect the output to the shader and uh, this is how it looks like. Okay, let's, let's uh, add another bevel node. And here we set the sampling to the max value of 16. But uh, it looks the same. Is there really no difference? Let's find out. So if we have a closer look, we can see there is a little bit of a difference. If we now change the radius of the corner, we see the difference is uh, there. So let's add another node. white image and now we have uh, we have created a detector of uh, an edge detector So <clears throat> let's add um, another mixer and uh, we, we can now choose the color. So that we have a nice uh, blue box.
So now let's try to add some metallic effect. This does not seem to work, but uh, if we decrease the roughness, then it is a uh, uh, what we want. So this is our material that we have generated with nodes. But we want to we want to textures. Let's uh, make some space for the textures. First we create... Ah, I forgot something. Um, we need good UVs when we... for our textures. And uh, this, node, uh, this uh, box is already UV unwrapped and uh, the UVs look good. Back to, our sh back to our shader, let's create a image texture. And the image, image texture needs an image, so let's create a new one. We call it base color. This image in this image we want to render the um, or procedurally created um, material. So here's our bake top. <coughs> And uh, we want the just the diffuse channel, just the color, and we want to render the texture. Okay, we are now ready to bake. This takes a little while. And here's our result. Okay. Let, uh, next, let's uh, render the um, metallic component. We need another texture and uh, we call it metallic. So let's bake. Oops, uh, I made a mistake. We have still connected the previous uh, texture to the base color, that, that was the mistake, we should connect the metallic uh, component. Mm -hmm. 
like so. Now we can bake. Okay, that's what we wanted. Let's connect the two textures again. And this is our result. So these nodes are not necessary anymore, so we can delete them. Just two textures. And uh, that is our final um, material. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.